You're now listening to the Something Good Podcast Network. Please press any key to continue. week's edition of the couch bro tatoes i'm alex i am fucked up no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> what's up there tennessee how you doing out there go balls go balls indeed <laughs> i haven't watched a single goddamn game this season they're probably gonna fucking lose <laughs> probably half of them got covid fucking... the other half of care <laughs> yes it's tennessee they don't give a damn <laughs> they don't give a good goddamn i heard dolly parton was coming to cure us all so we're... that's what i heard too she's gonna be the next state governor <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'd vote for dolly twice <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and we got Morrison. <laughs> you right I call this one first term and this one second term. <laughs> <laughs> For all the listeners, I'll pull a Ron Burgundy and just and say that he pointed to his boobies. <laughs> his Dolly Parton boobies. <laughs> Lord, oh man, what 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 a way to intro um what what technically should be a family friendly movie series. Spidey Is Man, it it? we're a family friendly podcast. Aren't Bullshit. We? <laughs> I tell we talk about murders, <laughs> and then it's the Manson family's tone. Right, <laughs> family. <laughs> then it's, you know, then it devolves into talk about the proper word for copulating with a head. Right. <laughs> But or the definition of retard, <laughs> <laughs> dullard. Which, which, which actually, if you pull out that dictionary and pull it out and, and take a look and take a little flip through that and get to that page, it will actually say the Amazing Spider-Man one and two. Oh, because oh, <laughs> that's oh. what we're going to be talking about today. In addition to I'll, I'll, the new uh, MCU Spider-Man movies that are out, and now. being a Spider-Man diehard fan that you are, Alex. How did you enjoy these uh, Andrew Garfield? <laughs> Uh, led. Like, like, well, where but, were you when the first when you saw? Andrew where Garfield? were you? Where were you? <laughs> Go, Alan Jackson on it. Play, play me, play me an Alan Jackson riff. <laughs> where were you when Andrew Jackson started crying? <laughs> Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> all right. Well, before we get all the way to that one, um. Let's kind of take it a little bit back because a few months ago is when we did our first Spider-Man one. We talked about um, one, two, and three, and then we also talked about a little bit of the animated series and such like that. Oh yeah, with Aerosmith doing the cover. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> God, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Dude, it's, well, it's like that uh, CDS game I showed y'all. Yeah, that was Spider-Man when... and the X-Men versus uh, Arcade's Revenge. Dude, that, that fuck is eight fucking <laughs> thirty-two <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that soundtrack's fucking awesome. <laughs> And that was back when Aerosmith was like on everything too. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck wrote that, but that was badass. <laughs> well, before we even got to the Amazing Spider-Man, where Sony decided they were going to reboot the series, uh, we were getting rumblings of a Spider-Man Four. Yep. Yeah. So, what's the backstory on that? Uh, essentially, just create the the tried and true creative differences. But if you really want to look at it, there was a lot of studio meddling that wound up happening during Spider Man Three. Um, Sam Raimi did not want to include Venom in that series, mm. and uh, I think. Ovid Ari or Ovid Ari, I forget, I can't I pronounce his name. Yeah. One of the other executive producers on that was like, no, 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 we have to put Venom in. It's, it's a fan favorite. It's a fan favorite. So he got shoehorned in and a bunch of other stuff, basically to the point where Raimi was like, I'm really kind of not interested in doing this anymore if you're going to keep pulling this shit. And they wanted to continue to pull it when he submitted a new script. So he was just like, I'm out. That happens with a lot of superhero movies that kind of, you know, get bad receptions like the latest fantastic four kind of had a similar treatment yeah uh, a director and writer that had their heart in the right place and that was a script show that they were able to do it right yeah that was, that was a full studio fuck up yeah. exactly on, on all three of those fucking movies so spider-man 3 i didn't realize that about uh spider-man 3 where there was a lot of uh meddling from the studio oh yeah oh yeah when well, anytime you got more than one villain 
Yeah, someone's someone. <laughs> and that's a franchise because that no keeps writer making money. Wants to, well, think about it. No good writer or director, and Sam Raimi is one, wants to juggle more than two or three big personalities like that in a movie. Yeah, that that is an an executive decision by someone that's never been on a film set. That's like. Fuck it, just make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a Spider Man. I'm not. I'm, I will say I'm not a big Sam Raimi fan. Yeah, but I could I could see where he would be coming from on that. Uh, well, I kind of like. Uh, well, I mean, I like his Evil Dead movies a lot. But yeah, uh, but I, like, like, at what point do you tell a director who you know he didn't put those kind of touches in those Spider Man movies? You know, the Spider Man movies. You know, he was pulling from the source material a lot, you know. Aunt May was old. Mm -hmm. Not Marissa Tomei, the Lord's mistress. I don't think there's there's anything wrong with that. No, no, not now. (laughs) Not now. Not when John Favreau and Tony Stark's raw dogging her on the table. But no, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like from what we saw, you know, he's a college kid. Yeah. You know, Aunt May, Uncle Ben, old. You mm-hmm. know, he's in high. He was in high school for a little bit. Then he went to college. Yep. These movies showed that progression really well. Yeah. And I can I can understand. You know, Sam Raimi being a little ass about it. Kind yeah. Of, you know, because he's like, because the second one is so good. Yeah. And there's two villains in it, and the second villain doesn't even play that big of a part in it. Yeah, it's, it's more of a contract killing kind of thing. Yeah, he has exactly. to take, the, he has to do it by himself. He mm-hmm. has to do it with his own fucking hands. Right. But even then, it's like it's more of a, a brother thing, really, between Harry, uh, yeah, Harry Osborne and Peter Parker. But the it's like he wasn't one, really a super one, however, villain. The though. third one, however, I can imagine the producers putting up that remember that Marvel poster with every character in yes. Marvel and it was like it was probably like three feet by two feet <laughs> he's got every Marvel character and they're just like get, like just doing a line of coke and throwing a knife <laughs> and whatever sticks they're like him add him let's add Sandman the sad sack <laughs> who actually has a compelling story oh yeah that's that, a great one that would have been a great fourth movie <laughs> Sandman? Yeah. <laughs> just, just the look on your face when you said fourth movie just killed me. Like, be a great. The third movie, movie. The third movie could just be Harry Osborne selling all that stupid shit of his dad. <laughs> and some psycho, like, I don't know, Woody Harrelson <laughs> becoming Hobgoblin. You, you know, know what? Picture, I can picture you know Hob- what? Woody Harrelson as Hobgoblin. Like, <laughs> him just smoking dope all day. He got popped by fucking Spider-Man a long time ago. He's finally released. And here he is. He's like, I think I know who this little prick is. <laughs> is he not in a superhero movie yet? He's going to be Carnage. Mm, no shit. Yeah. Supposedly. We, we, we can talk about what's going on with that near the end of this. I yeah, mean, but, uh, well, I think, hey, Woody Harrelson can... Woody Harrelson could, could play a psycho really about quickly, anything. But yeah, I, But, like, dude. I would love to see him... Or someone that around that age group, mm-hmm. uh, just pull it out as a hobgoblin. Oh yeah, because that's such a dark character. That- well, the villains that uh, Sam Raimi was kind of getting tied in was uh, it was going to be Mysterio and yeah. uh, the Vulture. Yeah. Well, now the cool thing about Mysterio was uh, so some leaked uh, storyboards, or he put out some storyboards. And it shows Spider-Man walking into a police station with a couple cops, and the cops have Mysterio, with, yeah. you know, with his, all that. And he's walking in, you know, everyone's kind of giving him a little cheer. You know, oh, Spider-Man, he's like, hey, guys, this, that, and the other. Well, they push Mysterio over, like, onto the table. Yeah. The dome falls off. And, and it's you know, Bruce Campbell. Yes. it's And that'd be a cool opener. That's what they were going to say was going to be but the they would opener. To, I would love to them show the fight. Oh, well, of course it would. But yeah. you you would say that for the third act. You, you yeah. show that he's already there. That way he can pop up later. But think about that. That would have been no, so no, no, cool. Not even that. Though. Not even that. I would do it as a fir- in the first act. I would show him like opening, like, hey, well, Spider-Man 3, blah, blah, blah. Uh, kick in Mysterio's ass. Mm-hmm. Put him in joy. Now he's away. Yeah. And then you put in someone like really fucked up like the chameleon mm. or scorpion mm. or vulture like he was playing in <laughs> who, would you, who would you have gotten to play the vulture though, if you had to choose at that time 
I mean, Willem Dafoe's already dead. Woody, Ke- Keaton's pretty fucking good. Woody Harrelson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woody Harrelson. <laughs> but yeah, so, so that Al was good. Al Pacino. <laughs> God. Ooh, the range. I'm the fucking vulture. The range. He can the range. play Cuban. He can play white. He can play in, other kind of white. In the, in the same voice. Yeah. Ooh, I'm Puerto uh, Rican. Ooh, uh. <laughs> I'm the vulture. Ooh, uh. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was really the only information that really came out from it was uh there there was those are going to be the two villains um i there might have been a little bit of like felicia hardy Catwoman. i mean um black cat type yeah. thing that would have that, that same character cool. <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> but yeah so that that would have been interesting but what i, I come to find out i'm pretty sure no, that happened because of Spider Man, uh, the Amazing Spider Man Two. Okay, we'll get to that one too. Because the reason that trilogy didn't continue is because of the Sony email leaks. Yeah. I was thinking that was the reason for Thanks, the actual. Korea. <laughs> right. Well, they kind of hey, had. I'm to... fucking glad. So on that, let's go ahead and get into that with the first Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, they had to reboot this because of um, uh, Tobey Maguire. Licensing. Well. Oh, really? Because of yeah, Toby Wire's an asshole. <laughs> well, yeah, we know all those all those stories, but they had to reboot it with I a said whole a different vegan burrito. God damn it! <laughs> what I'm saying is, didn't they have to reboot it just to keep the uh, rights of the franchise? No. Uh, as long as they continue to release a movie with the name of that property, they keep it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they don't have to reboot it to do that. As long as they continue well, I, to release a movie, they don't have to reboot or do anything. They could have made a Spider-Man 10 by now. But they had to uh, start it all over because y'all were saying Tobey Maguire and Tobey all that. Maguire and Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi left. Yeah. Tobey Maguire left. J.K. Simmons was probably down for it, but he was making so much other shit, too. <laughs> yeah. basically, basically, Toby was like, as Sam goes, I go. And yeah. Sam went, and he's like, all right, see ya. <laughs> I, would, I swear to God, I would have smacked Tobey Maguire down on the goddamn mat <laughs> and been like, I will get Tim Burton in this motherfucker replace you <laughs> with Johnny Depp and make Helen Bottom Carter the goddamn villain. Because I'm that fucking crazy. Yeah, so uh, that, that was uh, that was the main reason Spider-Man 4 just wound up not coming into fruition. So instead of Sony deciding to, you know, maybe grease up some palms and maybe make it a little bit more worthwhile for people to come back, they were less like, ah, fuck it, we'll just reboot it with not? brand new cast. Why not? It worked for Batman. Yeah, word for Batman. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Word for Batman like three fucking times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was the first. It was varying degrees of working, I would suppose. But this was the, this was the second, like, because Spider Man is so hate fresh for to Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. It's <laughs> <is disgusting. laughs> Gusting. It's, it's so, so punny. <laughs> the puns Chris, make that movie. Cool. Cool it. Cool it. <laughs> Chill. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Were you going to say Cap? I don't even know now. That's <laughs> 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 <Let's> be right. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, so so why not? And um, so looking at strictly the casting, uh, Andrew Garfield looks the part. Yep. And he is a better age for Peter Parker than Tobey Maguire was. Um. I, I couldn't give a shit about Gwen Stacy's character to begin with. Oh, Emma Stone. That was or Emma, Emma Stone. Stone. That's right, yeah. Emma Stone or Gwen Stacy. Yeah, I, like I couldn't give a shit about either. She was coming off uh, super bad. Yeah. <laughs> with that one. Yeah, but I like how they uh, decided to get, get the different female leaders to uh, kind of oh, give it a different... Uh, the Spider-Man story. Because mm-hmm. yeah. Gwen was there before MJ. Yeah, because right. he kills her by accident. But to kind of give it like a new, uh, a fresh spin on it since... Uh, there weren't that many years between Spider-Man three and this one. Yeah, yeah. They had to do a little bit pull, like uh, I guess you know throw throw a wrench and uh, yeah. you know and the knows. characters and yeah. stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, not a yeah. lot of people knew. Like everybody's so used to that, especially people who watch the animated MJ. show. We're like, oh, MJ's the one. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is Gwen Stacy? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I gotta go read an old comic from like mm-hmm. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby's day. <laughs> Everybody's like, gotta Ugh. do more homework. <laughs> and then there's different villains. Yeah, and then there's different origin stories. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, <laughs> But it's still the same. Uh, is Uncle, he still a sad sack? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Ben still gets killed. I don't and- understand. Like, Tobey Maguire. He seems like the kind of guy you could push around. <laughs> Granted, the guy he fought in the hall in the hallway, I'm pretty sure, was about six foot three, two eighty, and knew Krav Maga. But like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure is a UFC fighter. Uh, but he may have been a super senior. You know, one of them guys in there for five years. Yeah, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Garfield. I, uh, I saw like a fake trailer for this movie. 
were uh, they were making fun of him saying this good looking athletic loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like and, yeah, same with Garfield, you know, <laughs> a, a decent looking guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's shy. Of course, he's fucking shy. It's the internet age. <laughs> he's, right? just, he's just a stuttering motherfucker. That's he just it. has social anxiety. <laughs> yeah, <That's it. laughs> and, and that does not make for a good Peter Parker. No. And that's what I didn't care for it. I'm just like, he's just a fuck. It's stutter. like watching Shia LaBeouf and Transformers. That stuttering motherfucker. Yeah. Well, I guess we're <laughs> just going to go ahead and talk about the movie instead of casting. But yeah, so. He was, he was high. <laughs> he had a reason. He was just tweaking. <laughs> he was tweaking because he has to act with something that's not there. He has to. The, Dude, fucking Michael Bay threw a fucking uh, vial of coke at him and said, pretend there's 13 <laughs> or 18 foot giant robot monsters in front of you that are talking to you. There's they sound that, like Frank Welker. There's one that's going to pee gasoline on you at one point. It's going to be yeah, very just pretend, weird. Just pretend it's all cool. And keep your cool in front of Megan Fox. <laughs> the studio's on my ass about that shit. <laughs> yeah. But I, like you said, I can see where you're coming from about the whole Garfield thing. Mm-hmm. It, it does get a little too whiny very quickly. Yeah, well, I was just trying to get it from the start of the movie because, because yeah. like we did in the other episodes, I, <laughs> where we kind of start at the top and then kind of run through. These it. movies are not that memorable to me, to be quite honest with you. Really? See, y'all might I have to Martin y'all Sheen. might have to guide me through like what happens. <laughs> Martin, I remember Martin Sheen them. being the the uncle, and yeah. I remember the whole Shield connection. Yeah, I remember the Shield connection. They, they they tried really hard to shoehorn in the parents. And, and that's that's even, right. And that's how they even started the. Uh, th- no, they started the second movie with the uh, th- them in the plane. The first yeah. movie was them leaving Peter at Uncle Ben and um, Aunt, May. Aunt May's place. And, yeah, and, and yeah, <laughs> basically they right. were just like, "We're gonna leave you here, bye." And oh, we we gotta go. Thirty six chambers just debuted. We gotta get out. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn Wu Tang. <laughs> and then it flash forwards to him go in to high faces school. Brook was signing autographs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> they would be that age. They would be the young parents in 1992. You know what's fucked up? Ghostface nickname? Tony Starks. Oh! <laughs> but not they would be that age. They would be like hip hop fanatics. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, like I said, it's quick flash forwards back to him in current day school. And yeah, like Cap said, he's like, look at this fit, tall, handsome you know, nerd. What kind of fucking school is that? Like, I, I understand it's like a like a STEM mm-hmm. type school, but what the fuck? <laughs> Why do you have a basketball team? Like, it's so weird, the dynamic of that school. It's like, oh, we're going to go to a multi-billion dollar industry as a goddamn field trip? <laughs> well, I mean, that was the first series too, if you really think about but it. Like, but no, but like this one is... It was this like, is so fucking weird, man. <laughs> It was, like, it, it was like, elaborate. This is the Tom Holland one. He goes to a special school. Yeah, you know, and sure. this one, and this one, it's like, hey, this was like public school shit. Yeah, this looked like a public school <laughs> in New York. In New York, it's like, <laughs> bitch, your dad is a fireman. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you should not even have to go to school. <laughs> You're so fucking poor. Like, <laughs> why the fuck? Yeah, this is and like somehow, Brooklyn. Can we, can we, I want to address this real fucking quick. How is Dennis Leary? <laughs> I'll give him like he's a great actor. He played the great. Hey, he played a good. He played a good character in the movie. Uh-huh. How is it a fire chief can live in a penthouse apartment in I was, New York? I was literally about to say you know that. What? You know it how does. he's corrupt. <laughs> Dennis Leary is a corrupt fireman. He well, was running to be in Rescue Me. I was, I was going to say the He's same. running for office. Yeah. The, dude, the same thing that was like. court money. E- even the Parkers. The Parkers have a lot more money like in the area they live in New York Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. They don't live in fucking Brooklyn. They live, yeah. in, they live in like West Side and a Brownstone. And see, <laughs> it's me. And to me, when you take away that struggle from Peter, that money struggle, that's when you take away a large part of what makes him him. Yeah, because he's not a kid. He's not a poor kid from Brooklyn. Exactly, he's just a kid from Brooklyn. Yeah, and all three of us here at the table have not had a charmed life with rich parents or any of that bullshit. I don't know. So, I'm, I'm I'm straight white guy living in this area. I'm, <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. <laughs> but it's like when growing I beat up, death like a thousand times. <laughs> so, like, of course, but it's like growing up, we did not have money, and we know that. 
And we've also seen the kids that grew up with money. And yeah. there, you, you see a little bit of difference between, you know, the way you kind of see the world and that aspect. I want them that's to get bit by a radioactive spider and get cancer. <laughs> that's kind of the... <laughs> that's kind of the... Uh, well, isn't that kind of the aesthetic of Spider-Man is like the guy that, you know, makes it work, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and, that's, and that's what I think just well, really he, makes he, him he, a good character. And, he's also like super smart. Which which goes a long way. Which I think they they showed that better in these one in these in the Tommy McGuire ones. Yes, yeah. because you know Tommy McGuire, mm -hmm. go go Spider Man, <laughs> go web go. It should be coming out of your ass <laughs> if you want to get you know technical. There's no spiders that shoot shit out of their hands. Yeah. So in the original, we had the organic webbing. Uh, this time around, uh, we had yeah, the, the, the uh, gadgets, the actual gadgets, which I did like. Yes, I did like that. Um, what about his suit compared well, to the well, first on, one? Let's go back to the gadgets for a second. The, <laughs> thing I, the problem I had with the gadgets was he casually, casually, after being bit by a radioactive spider, uh -huh. having a couple fever dreams, uh -huh. casually walked back into Oscorp and stole a billion dollar product <laughs> like it wasn't shit just walked in and out with it huh it, it did <laughs> he did though like look 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 alright so think you of, think, of, think, of, think, you think security I'm not thinking, a place right, like that I understand would be. it's a fantasy movie but logistically speaking Harry Osborn hears or you know he's not Norm, even in this movie yet Norman, Norman Osborn yeah. hears this shit he's like oh shit a key got bit by a spider oh man maybe we should uh, kill the family like <laughs> Quarantine the fuck out of everybody. He got bit by some magical Brazilian viper spider, and like everyone's cool with it. And then it's like, hey, that kid's back. I wonder why. Maybe to fucking shoot us or give him cancer. All right? Maybe that's why he's here. Okay? Did anybody think about that? Why the kid from the field trip from yesterday who fell out and had a seizure about died? Because we lost a. Spider the size of a fucking marble. I want to see that movie now. <laughs> He's going to get shot <laughs> because they're thinking Columbine's here. We need to put this motherfucker down. No, not, not, not just that. Not just that. He decides to go to another department <laughs> and steal inventory. <laughs> I understand shit tech companies, but god damn, dude. This is Oscorp. <laughs> Peter Parker, when keeping it real, goes, goes wrong. wrong. He would have been shot in the back of the, of the back like four times with tasers because he was stealing a billion dollar product. They even say to the goddamn movie, like, well, fuck comics. Let's talk about something like a movie. It's. This is thread that is genetically bred. You know how hard it is to genetically breed something in the real world? In fantasy realm, I get it. Tony Stark's jerking off a billion dollars every five seconds. But money, the money for this motherfucker. A poor kid from Brooklyn can just walk in and rob us. I forget With now. No what security. the fuck did he steal? The webbing. I thought he made that. No, he stole the filament product. That's what the spiders were making. Oh, you're right. You're right. Because they're filled right. with yes. radiation yeah, and poison that caused leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> he should be dead in the parking lot of Oscorp after try And he'd be on the nightly news. Fucking J.K. Simmons would be on there. Peter. Some punk fucking kid from Brooklyn tried to rob a corporation and died for it. Peter, those aren't muscles. Those are tumors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got the Popeye arms because he's got like 12 foot, 12 foot tumors in his goddamn forearms. Spiders are coming out of the son of a bitch. <laughs> MJ only have three years to live. Which, which the fucked up thing is, is uh, there is an How alternate. How do you lose a goddamn spider? Huh? They're not a fuck. I, I understand people lose an octopus every now and then because they're freaking clever as shit. But hey, you see this glass thing where a camera's on it constantly? At no point does one scientist say to the other one, all right, we're doing inventory again because, you know, these kids are here. We want to show them all the cool spiders we're doing and the cool shit they're doing. Hey, number five's gone. What do you mean number five is fucking gone? You know the one? <laughs> the one that causes the, cancer? The one that's got the cancer venom? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Now, now you know, we're, we're laughing real hard at this. You're, you, I think... Are you, are you talking just, about Andrew Garfield or I'm about Andrew Garfield? And okay, so you do know in that one he sneaks in and just spiders crawl on him and one bites him. The one where they lose one is the Tobey Maguire one. But like those spiders are <laughs> they're 
That makes them, that makes my argument even worse because now there's many spiders that are loose. <laughs> no, 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 they weren't loose. Remember, he he's, uh, he he uh, grabs the uh, the key card off that one uh, chick. He winds up sneaking through because he wants to get a better look at stuff. He swipes the card. He makes his That's way in. That's the best Should have been shot in the head. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Getting at it's what makes it even fucking worse. Peter doesn't do that shit. Peter doesn't sneak around Oscorp and then fucking get bitten by spiders. He basically walks into a room of spiders and they start like literally like dropping on him and then like one bites him and shit and what is what the fuck is Gwen Stacy like is she a high school student or like a doctor <laughs> yeah really I was gonna say supposed to be in fucking Peter's class or whatever yeah but she has like a doctorate to fuck yeah. with animals and shit <laughs> now my question is so with, with their attempt at trying to distance themselves from the Maguire films as in you know putting Gwen Stacy in and not MJ how do you guys feel about them putting Oscorp in but not putting any of the Osborns in that's fucking terrible because I mean, we didn't see Harry or Norman why, why, why make it why make it Oscorp to begin with well because that is the main no no you could add that later why not make it AIM because I think that would be too closely connected to the MCU, and that was before they were able to make or, any sort of connections. Or just some other random fucking... What, yeah. what, what, what did Kingpin work for? What was the... He worked for himself. He was a made man. So, yeah, whatever Kingpin was working for. Yeah. yeah. I think he owned a bunch of CrossFit gyms or something. <laughs> but, but see, here, and, and here's the problem, though, is since Oscorp is kind of like the, you know the Baxter building or the Stark Tower, the yeah. Aven Avengers building of yeah. that kind of realm. The problem is, and that becomes a very, very evident problem in the second movie, which is everything bad has to come from Oscorp. That's stupid. And, and, and I, I personally don't like that. <sighs> Because think about it, and both of those in that universe, and like a bad quote unquote bad company. Bad company. <laughs> God, yeah, I, think, I, think, I think Paul Rogers is CEO of, Paul is CEO no. of the bad company. Oh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Always. Yeah. So, uh, are the, you ready for spiders? <laughs> all right, but but yeah. So so we'll we'll bring up something my uh, cat mentioned a minute ago. The suit. In my opinion, the worst spider suit we've gotten to really? date. I hate that first Amazing Spider-Man suit. It's yellow eyes. They're kind of thin. The webbing is way too like pronounced, and then like the colors themselves are very muted, and it basically looked like he was wearing like Sonic the Hedgehog sneakers. <laughs> oh God, yeah, I forgot <laughs> with, about that. With the fucking costume, and I'm, and it just it looked horrible. And the yellow eyes, yeah, yeah, I didn't like that either. No, it looked too. It looked too. Um, cause what, I guess. They're all CGI, but this one just looked more especially CGI with all their I will say, fight scenes. I will say with this movie, I did like the the approach they did with the camera work on this one. Mm. They did like the Mirror's Edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, the POV shot. Oh, yeah. I like the, the, that. That was cool. The Spider-Man suit, I didn't really care much about because yeah. it was going pretty fast. Yeah. Like, I thought it looked neat because yeah. it's, it, it looked like something that'd be more dynamic at night. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, and, and it's I'm, not like I see what it, he should have started. Like I, what I think should have worked was, okay, he gets his powers. He figures out that it's okay to steal from a multi billion dollar company and not get yeah. shot in the back of the skull. Um, <laughs> oh man, that would be a cool dynamic if he did steal it, steal all that stuff, and that's why Martin Sheen does. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, it was, tell it Peter it was from us. Bop, bop. And like shoots, at, shoots Uncle Ben in front of him. What y'all think about the uh, the villain, the lizard? Uh, the character is really good. Yes, and, and I and I I'm glad they did that one because that that was never going to happen with these other two. No, mm -hmm. uh, I love I love the fact that his plan is to make everyone lizards though. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's literally his, his plan. plan. Should be burn down the Oscorp building. I would just say <laughs> burn down the city. Norman Osborn. Yeah, but no, he wants to turn. I mean, well, all right. Yeah, here's he's a he's a he's a Ninja Turtles. Man. Yeah, really. <laughs> so th this is this is the problem I wind up running into as a comic book and like sci-fi fan. Do I turn my nose up at the idea of? The lizard wants to turn everyone else into lizards, or do I go, well, no shit. The lizard wants to turn everyone else into lizards. It's a comic book well, the movie. Whole point, the whole point, I really do stand like in a hard 50 50 on that. I would have liked it we, to want, uh, if the, uh, the doc, the doctor, yeah, lizard Connors. doctor, Connors, 
had tried to turn himself back, but something terrible happened mm-hmm. while testing it, and now he's a villain because of it. Right? Not he's not a villain to us, mm-hmm. but to the city, he's a menace. Yeah. And Spider Man has to say, like, look, we can get you help. He's like. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the Doc Ock, kind of like, like no, That's I don't I need thinking. your goddamn help. You know, I'll do it my fucking self. Yeah. And then for some reason, he realizes it's not going to work. Mm. And then realizes the machine is not going to work. Right. And not shank Dennis Leary on a roof. <laughs> but, the Doc Ock, <laughs> but the Doc Ock thing, you know, is a more, you know, it makes sense. And you like sympathize, but you also, uh, you know, want him to lose at the same time because he's out of control with. Yeah. Those are all things that makes a good villain. With- well, like Connors, Connors wasn't really a bad guy. And no, most of the Connors. Most of the series, Connors is a, a sympathetic character, kind of like Doctor Freeze. I was literally, yeah. dude. I was literally about to say the same. You thing. You feel bad for him because he lost an arm. That's all he wants to do is regrow his arm. That's all he cares about, and it got him, and it just it turned him into an entire lizard, and and basically ice cold blooded. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I know it just uh, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> so punny <laughs> it just it i i don't know though i i like the arc i like his reasoning for starting out not turning everyone into lizards but like you know the because what it was is peter wanted to kind of fix himself too mm-hmm. and this was a good mirror to peter as yeah. in you know a very scientific mind with something that happened to him and now he's experimenting trying to get something to happen so it's just kind of like a a different version of the doc ock kind of thing you but with be- doc ock is more or less the now it's well, been thrusted upon you what do you do this is from a more scientific testing standpoint you would be cool would be like um all right, so the lizard fails, mm-hmm. but his technology is still laying around the city. Yeah, I would like to have seen like uh, an ESU guy, a mm-hmm. crime scene investigator, or um, an emergency response like doctor or something, yeah. come up on the scene, touch something, and it'd be Michael Morbius. Oh yeah, that's why he touches something that Connors was thinking about doing mm-hmm. as a last resort, but decided yeah. not to, and ended up getting infected. Yeah. And that would be the credit scene. Mm-hmm. Well, there was a credit scene in this movie, wasn't uh, there? Yeah. What was what was the credit? It scene? was like a teaser for uh, for a yeah, so, dark union of some kind. Well, yeah, kind of. So, uh, so to fast forward a little bit more in the movie, uh, we we basically just kind of brush over the whole MJ Gwen thing. Actually, no, I don't. I don't like fa- actually, I don't, no, I don't want to brush over that. I don't. I don't like the fact that MJ's not in the movie at all. I, that that didn't bother that me. That bothered me because they all went to school together. Yeah. Granted, Gwen Stacy's the first, mm-hmm. but you know she does. Well, right. MJ <laughs> does move into town though yeah. in the comics. Well, so well, I, the reason I was going to say I don't want to skip through the relationships some is because originally it just bored the hell out of me, but then I remembered something that happened at the very end of the movie that. 100% soured me on any sort of better feelings I may have had for the film. So, the entire time, they've got this big will they won't they. Dennis Leary's character is like, you know, I don't want you hanging around that Parker kid, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. She figures out he's Spider-Man after this really weird-ass fucking mumbly scene, all this other crap. <laughs> well, f- exactly what you fucking said, Dennis Leary gets fucking shanked on a goddamn rooftop, and Peter Parker, the fucking moral right, the fucking Bobby Hill of this goddamn universe (laughs) is looking this guy a police commissioner in the face and goes what what can i do what can i do and he goes keep gwen stay safe do not date her stay away from gwen and he does for maybe a summer a semester and then it fucking comes right back in and all because the teacher's given some fucking little uh, like vague thing about sometimes you have to you know break promises this that and the other you have to you know do this that and the with, other right, and the, and with what? a fucking pep talk from Aunt May mind you and a uh, a quote from Uncle Ben which was essentially fucking with great power comes great responsibility yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He, fi- he yeah he finally <laughs> listens to the voicemail because that was something else too is Peter Parker was an absolute dickhead to his uncle Uncle, the entire first part well, of the movie. Peter Parker is an asshole. Yeah, really. This, this Peter Parker's yeah, an fuck asshole. Yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, Peter Parker is an asshole. Not in the comics. But pretty much he's an asshole. He's a teenager. He's going to be an asshole. Yeah, but not to the extent that we saw in this film. I mean, come uh, on. He's no Tom Holland. But. And I was going to say, Bobby Hill's not an asshole. He's a teenager. I don't know. Nah, he's man. kind of an asshole to Luann. No, no. Peter Parker's worse. Luann like, deserves it. No. 
Peter Parker straight out birth control. No, Peter Parker's <laughs> in his early twenties, getting out of college. He's he's worse. He's worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, so it just with him just being a dick to his uncle the entire time, and then I going say, back I will, on that. I will and, say it is Sally Field. She is kind of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know, man. That righteous she, bitch for stealing know, Magnolias. Man. She, she, uh, <laughs> she, she, she cared for his, uh, her son's school an awful lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gave old rubbing tugs to the math teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got a 70% IQ now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> One, two, <God> three. <laughs> if she makes it to 200, it's usually over. <laughs> But yeah, so just with an asshole Peter Parker. I'm just picture retarded Tom Hanks. Is my <laughs> just an asshole Peter Parker, and just and just I don't know for some reason him going back on the promise that he made to uh, Commissioner uh, yeah, Stacy. Cheesy fucking lie he gives. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like sometimes rules are meant to be broken, or like our promises are meant to be broken, no, or no, some they're stupid not. ass shit promises, like that. Dumbass. Yeah. Yeah, but there's uh, but that kind of uh, but pays off in the second asshole, movie too. If you wanted to make an asshole, that would have been great. He's like, did you know I have superpowers? I'm pretty much bulletproof, and like nobody can stop me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he like have that maniacal face, like. <laughs> yeah, Dick. Did you know I figured out how to turn everyone into Spider Man? Because like, <laughs> I'm fucking next, crazy. <laughs> think about that next time you want to say some fucked up shit to me like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. You can't. <laughs> yeah. You know I could take a whip, shoot at your skull, and rip your fucking flesh off. <laughs> and, and I would have liked the lizard better, minus his motives, if, if the design had been better. He, like had, he had like a marble head. Yeah, well, I wish like, he had, well, had like an elongated oh, yeah. snoot. Snout. Snout, snoot, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, I understand he had a human. Like a gator face. Yeah. yeah, he had a human yeah. face. Yeah, I, I don't know. That could have been changed. He had like more of like a snake body with legs. Yeah, yeah. If he had a bit more of a gator face, cool, I think it would have like, been cooler. The look of the show from the old animated show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. They, you know, they, they. You, you got to remember they're using mocap mm-hmm. to the extent that they know how. Yeah. So you can still it's, it's that British guy's face. Yeah, and he's got to, and you know, there's probably rights in there where the face has to semi resemble his. Or not even that. Just other. like you know, he's not Andy Circus. Yeah. Andy Circus could have made that work. Mm-hmm. We've seen Andy Circus like. A in, zillion times. A zillion off. times in real life. Yeah, he could have been a great Chuck Connors. Yeah. Well, but, but the thing is, is what what is brother Chuck Connors? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, My no. name's Chuck. I turned into a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, but the thing is, is though, is yeah, they're using mocap, but at the same time, that wouldn't matter if they gave him a gator face. I think I think you know you, you know, know? that mocap stuff. Some of that mocap stuff, you know. I you mean, but, but when you're you doing tra- like a full gator yeah, face, you're like, not even really a lot using. Of those people have to be like trained a special way. Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that played Gandalf mm-hmm. had to be hated doing the Hobbit movies because he had to train a certain way to use CGI. Yeah, yeah, and that was also like you know the, that, the CGI that, from them. And you know, some of these actors, you know, they'll quit a fucking they'll fuck up a production. Oh yeah, they'll quit on the spot if they mm-hmm. have to because you know that mocap shit ain't cool. No, <laughs> especially for like that actor because yeah. that actor is. A Shakespearean actor mm. like the guy that played Gandalf or like Anthony Hopkins I can't picture Anthony Hopkins in CGI can you like it's fucking weird yeah no I, I'm probably going, like hours I'm yeah. going to bet more that especially with the you know with CGI the way it is now I, I'm willing to bet that it's more contract stuff that their face has to be shown I, a certain I, I amount and, and the reason being is that's the reason why Tony Stark has his uh, setups the way he does now yeah. is because Robert Downey Jr. has it in his thing where his face has to be seen a certain amount per movie, not yeah. Iron Man. You got to get the screen like that. Got to get the screen time, mm-hmm. and especially a character that wears a mask the entire time, like Spider Man. At some point, think about it. Every Spider Man movie, there is a moment where something happens to his mask and he's got to take it off. Yep. Yeah. Every time. Every, every fucking time, movie. Every movie, something happens to his mask and he's got to take it off and it's because you've got to show that actor doing something or they completely disconnect now from i'm thinking it. about all the batman movies yeah. and all that mm-hmm. i would have loved like you know going back to the costume i would have loved like okay he he realizes he has powers mm-hmm. all right let's give him the caveat of finding the filament stuff to make the webbing mm-hmm. um, he's clever enough to do that but to create a suit like that, yeah, he didn't take fucking home ec. <laughs> All right, this guy was a STEM major, you know, yeah, engineering, math, science, technology. Mm-hmm. No, 
give him a fucking red sweatshirt, <laughs> draw a fucking spider on it, and make him the Scarlet Spider, and his and have him wear like gauntlets on his arms, like the Scarlet Spider. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, he kind of pulled that for a little bit. Well, uh, they all do, but yeah. they need to pull it all the way. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Keep that for almost, you know, to the second act. Yeah. Until that suit don't work no more. Yeah. Because <laughs> think about this. He's dressed like the Scarlet Spider. He's fighting the lizard in the school. Yeah. Goes down into the sewer. Mm-hmm. His costume is ruined. Yeah. He comes back and then realizes, fuck, I got to make something. Yeah. And make it a little bit more... Feasible with like the Tommy McGuire suit or the Spider Man suit from Tom Holland. See, I kind of saw. It doesn't have to be embossed. I saw saw him kind of doing that in this film. He almost kind of did the Batman thing. Yeah. Because what he was doing is he knew that there was the marking of the tattoo on that one guy uh, to find Uncle Ben's killer. And every time he went out, something wound up going wrong. And he kept modifying his outfit a little bit more every time, every time. So so we we kind of got a montage of that. I think that was just to progress. Like, okay, he needs that suit now. Yeah. No, he don't need that suit that quickly you know, yeah. know what i'm saying he's fighting thugs mm-hmm. like the way he fights thugs he's kind of an asshole too yeah and he's like oh no we're good let me just rip your fucking hand off and beat you with it <laughs> because it takes 25 tinsel pounds to rip your fucking hand from your body yeah from your body mm-hmm. from like 25 pounds your your hand comes off your fucking body he could lift a car <laughs> he holds your shoulder pulls your hand it rips the fuck off like Evil Dead. And then he could slap you in the face with it. He could use your hand in a crime. And he's going to be that asshole that's going to be like, quit hitting yourself. You quit hitting yourself. Do? Just to be an asshole, I'm going to take your hand, <laughs> steal a cop's gun, and kill the police chief because he's fucking with my dick game right now. <laughs> Jesus and then, Christ. And then they're going to know it's you. Hey, what are you going to do? Say a, a spidered man came and took your fucking hand off? Huh? You fucking bitch? Spider-Man. No, Spider-Man. I'm going to find you off. again. I'm going to follow the blood trail. I'm going to follow you to your fucking hideout, to your home, to your family, and then sew your hand back on while wearing your face. <laughs> Because I'm fucking crazy. Because I got bit by a thousand venomous <laughs> spiders who gave me leukemia. I have a tumor in my brain the size of an eight ball. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. It's going to rip off your fucking head. Spider Man. It's actual roasting. Okay. New rule. No more binge watching Quentin Tarantino films <laughs> before trying Quentin to Quentin Tarantino them. Spider-Man would be the shit. <laughs> yes, it would. It'd be it'd be it'd be Jamie Foxx calling everybody the N-word. <laughs> he has, he has <laughs> <laughs> the final battle is done to an Enio Marconi song. Right. Spanish guitar everywhere. No, it's it's it's, it's, it's Rick Ross. It's Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. Got a hundred black coffins. <laughs> oh, I want to see all of these movies. These movies that like. I get it. He's a teenager. You wanted to be nice and shit, but guess what? In real life, he wouldn't be a nice person. <laughs> He's just now. He's a white kid who gets bullied because he's a fucking geek. <laughs> he's a school shooter at best. Like, <laughs> right, but that's not Peter Parker. That's my point, though. It's like we we don't have to make every fucking movie super hyper realistic, where everyone's archetype is exactly how everyone's archetype is going to be in real life. Peter You're Park. telling me you want to watch Spider Man just rip a dude's hand off? If you <laughs> to see it? I'm not saying you I know, don't. Episode of Law and Order. <laughs> You City know. confidential or some shit. Like, I mean, the I, news- Ice-T's just like, God damn. damn. I mean, I'm hearing a very compel- of, uh, compelling plot to Spider-Man Spider-Verse 2. <laughs> I'll rip that motherfucker's hand off. <laughs> I committed so many crimes with it. I just don't give a fuck anymore. This is black exploitation, Spider-Man. <laughs> Miles Morales. <laughs> So on to Amazing Spider-Man two, <laughs> and uh, the worst of the two, the least, yeah. the less interesting of the two, really. <laughs> yeah. At least the first one was you know intriguing because it was a brand new Spider-Man, but nobody really liked that new Spider-Man. So we got. Did you catch in with the, the beginning one. of the uh, the little Easter egg at the beginning? Because this is the, this was going to be the one where Gwen Stacy dies. Mm-hmm. Did you catch the two guys talking on the campus while the camera is zooming in? And they're talking about Spider Man. Mm. They're talking about. Uh, so, how does Gwen Stacy die in the comics? Her neck snaps because he takes too long. Yeah. That's not a thing. If you fall and someone catches you, your neck's not going to snap mm. like that. You have muscles and tendons that prevent you 
from like going back and dying of whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She would have had whiplash, mm-hmm. but she wouldn't have fucking died. Well, I think so. In the comic, in the, the comic, way- she gets whiplash and dies because yeah. people didn't understand what the fuck that was. Well, it, in, it, 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 it didn't have to do with how far she was falling. It had to do with how quick her. Well, that's drop. the Easter egg. That's the Easter egg. There's talk about. Mm-hmm. He's like, because he's like, oh, how did he do that one thing? How did Spider Man able to do that and not kill that person? And the guy explains it. Yeah. While he's walking, he's like, oh no, he cu- he catches her at an angle. Yeah. Even in class. He has to. He's like daydreaming, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Hey, Peter, what's the answer to this question?" And he's like, "Oh, the angle and velocity of this force, you know, you know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the swing. Yeah, that's that's the pop. Mm-hmm. That and proves that wouldn't happen. That's why they killed her a different way. Right. Because they had to prove that hey, that swing shit doesn't mm-hmm. murder people. If not, Spider Man would murder people constantly. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man's and like, so oh, so he from build. Let me just there was, throw those thousand feet that way. Yeah, fucking no. Mach five. So that's not how he did it in the comic. Uh, he looked, it was a bridge. It was the bridge. Yeah, he looked. He didn't swing. That's what I keep trying to say. He looks straight down. She's falling. He looks straight down and webs her. Yeah. So imagine you're free falling, yeah. and only thing well, you have the question. That's what the question. He answers is, is it's a free fall question. Mm-hmm. So but, she's free falling, and imagine the only thing that you've got on you is a literally a rope tied yeah. around your waist, and then eventually you stop. Yeah. Due to not, the weight of that, that's not a death. That's a paralyzation, mm-hmm. if anything. But that's what he was saying in that question. Like the two guys are talking about a swing. The teacher was talking about a free fall. Yeah. Um, you, you, he we would broke her back. Mm-hmm. That's why they kill her a different way in the movie. Yeah. Because she falls and, and smacks her head. Love taps. Mm-hmm. Because when you fall from an airplane mm-hmm. or you fall from a high distance, hitting the ground doesn't kill you. Yeah. It's the bounce. Mm-hmm. You know, your gut's trying to catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> Flat on her ass. <laughs> Free fall. Falling. I don't know. I'll, bye, Tom Petty. Bye. <laughs> I, I still subscribe to the um, belief that the comic one would have worked, mainly because this, especially with the way it was drawn, it was very much in a way where it's like, if the human body stops at that velocity, that quick, that it hard. Cool if you know that. I mean, like, Green th- think about like slit her throat and thrown off a building. Oh yeah, I mean, that, like, then it would have been that done. Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, there was no. What mi- the fuck? I, I'm just imagining just like how. You know, how easy it is to snap a neck though like going yeah. backward though i mean just i don't know that 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 to me does just feel very like that that would like if you someone just stopped at fucking terminal velocity I like a cool that scene, though. dude where yeah. the web where the web comes out it looks kind of like a hand a hand yep i was mm-hmm. like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was no mystery to uh gwen stacy stein uh dying off in this movie at well, all going part into of the it. reason being was sony's uh promotions for it they released like fucking half of the movie on youtube through trailers and clips yeah. and everything else before it even came out in the this theater is before movie trailers like showed shit they weren't going to show in movies like rogue one yeah yeah well, they, sh- <laughs> they showed the very ending of the fucking movie in the trailer yes they sh- i was gonna say since we're already talking about the end of the movie yeah they already show uh spider-man doing the swinging thing with the um um manhole cover yeah. which was the very end of the movie they put that in the trailer yeah. <laughs> and Paul Giamatti as a rhino is kind of weird yeah so we fast rewind back to the beginning of the movie now these really uh, are the only highlights <laughs> kind of uh, yeah Paul Giamatti is he was an interesting character was at the start of the movie yeah, thug. yeah I liked him at the start I did not like the rhino suit at the end yeah, it looks weird it, it looked really weird it looked very cartoony <laughs> Yeah. What would have been better if it was like Paul Giamatti riding a rhino? Oh, yeah. That would have been like, kind of cool. cool. <laughs> He'd be like, like welded on like a piece of stainless on the front yes! of it. You know? they, they call me pig vomit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, now, I, also, I wouldn't say it looked too cartoony because, again, that, I, wouldn't, that, I wouldn't use cartoon as a negative. It just looked like a transformer. Yeah. It, yeah. it looked too much like a, like a gray, lifeless... Or, well, a, a zoid. Gr- it looked like a zoid. Yeah, yeah there you go. Wow, yes, yes. Zoids. What a pull. <laughs> yeah. Y'all kids remember zoids? Of course you don't. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> but but yeah, so he, he gets sons of bitches. He gets locked up. But I will say, it, it's almost like they knew because the opening scene after the fucking parent shit. <laughs> with they them. were shield. <laughs> were yeah. Hydra. yeah, they were teasing that like a motherfucker at the end of the first movie. And did that, that didn't get resolved at all in this, did it? Yes, but no, I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to show the, how the parents died in the MCU. And I want to show I you. I don't. I don't want them 
to fucking touch the parents at all. I do. You know why? Because I want them to just be regular people and Tony Stark accidentally murdered them no, it's, with a fucking that, test or no, something. Well, that's what no, it needs to happen with Uncle Ben. Because everything is Tony Stark's fault in the MCU. No, it's going to be uh, <laughs> the last episode of WandaVision. That's what we find out. No, I don't I don't want them to even talk about the parents. I'd be cool if Uncle Ben's death was due to Tony Stark. That would be interesting. He was out there when the Hulk was doing his game of testing. Uh huh. Or, or no? Uh, the, 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 no, he already said the attack in New York. Oh yeah. Rubble. Mm. Mm. Oh. So maybe if it was something kind of directly done by a Tony Stark oh, movie, he, he, becomes, he killed a dude in a piece of rubble, like, uh, cut and then his it, head off. And then it's like a callback to uh, Civil War with Captain America and uh, Tony yeah. Stark. Well, Tony yeah. Stark's dead. Well, now. <laughs> but but he, but, he t- has but Peter, family. Yeah. <laughs> they could be targeted. <laughs> Peter just goes kill. That little girl ain't that fucking tough. <laughs> Peter just goes full Mark David Chapman. Kill the phonies. <laughs> <laughs> He's got little people made of spider webs. Like, I believe you, Mister Spider Man. <laughs> You're right. They all must die. And he like takes a suit and just tucks it in a suit. And then all four prongs come out. And he fucking starts attacking fucking <laughs> fucking shield and, and murders a bunch of shield agents before they realize how the fuck did we kill him? <laughs> He's got a Tony Stark suit on. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, Rody, you got a fucking off button? <laughs> but it seems like after they touched the parents thing, it seems like they immediately knew they got the costume right. Because straight from that, it goes black, and then it shows him free falling in the city, and then it like zooms out from the back, and it shows like the new costume and everything, just like in free, free fall. And I'll say, as much as I hate this movie, I love love that costume yeah the costume looked perfect the eyes were good the colors were good everything about that costume i genuinely love isn't that a shame though where it's like since you're a fan of like spider-man and, and we're all fans of our like our favorite yeah. heroes and shit when you have a shitty movie but the suit looks great it's yeah. kind of like just adds that little bit of like oh this ruins everything yeah, like, and it's like as much as i like the tom holland films it's not as good as that one suit that to me is still just that's the perfect tier. one. Yeah, Harry. Yeah. Os- so Harry Osborne, though. Oh yeah, there's you, a fucking. You the problem with this Harry Osborne? I have a problem with this Harry Osborne. The fucking John Lennon sunglasses? No, no, it's the actor. <laughs> yeah, he's not that well known. That dude is an indie fucking actor. I've and seen he, him in a couple things. He's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he, got, he got. He's in that Metallica movie. And yeah. that's on Netflix where yeah. he's, like, he's jumping around the fucking yeah. uh, arena. These, these little indie movies he's in, like Chronicle, mm-hmm. uh, City of a Thousand Planets, you know, stuff like that. That's where he makes his bread and butter, you know. Make him a main villain. I don't know. Yeah, and it's like and you know who'd have been good at Norman Osborn or Harry Osborn? Mm. Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Jesus, he Christ. looks like you're not wrong. He looks but, like a piece of shit. But I, well, guys, but it's all it counts is. But that's a failed attempt to you know distance themselves from the old uh, yeah, you know, know, Spider Man too. That would have been funny. <laughs> See, trying to be friends with Andrew Garfield, but kind of give him like a little like nudge, like mm-hmm. uh, you think you're bad at Spider Man. Uh, I can do better. Uh, and see, I'm no small potatoes. <laughs> talking about the whole distancing themselves part of it. At what point does are you shooting yourself in the foot by trying to distance yourself too far? Because I feel like they're still trying to do that a little bit with the current Spider Man. I think I think this works with a new one mm-hmm. because you kind of have to. Yeah. Um, There's familiar tropes that you still got to meet with now, Spider Man. Like, like the third movie's not, you know, we don't know nothing about the third movie really. Um, this movie, you know, is coming off not long after. I don't remember a wait time a lot from this movie from the first one. No, they they like they rushed a they, year and a half. Well, because they're starting now uh, in this timeline, the Amazing Spider Man Two era. They were trying to create their. This was when they were trying to create their own Spider Verse. Yeah, that's when that all started because. Uh, they weren't going to bow to Disney. Yeah, basically. So, yeah. so, so they they not were, at that time. To- not, not at that, that time. time. <laughs> uh, so basically, all they fucking deal eventually. They they were just rushing into production. So yeah, they, they you didn't have to wait a long time for no. it. Um, I didn't like the fact that Norman Osborn had that condition. Mm-hmm. No. Now give make him make him the bad guy. Yeah, not Harry. Yeah, he he was in the film for all of what five minutes. Yeah, and the that. guy they got to play him was a great actor. Yeah, who plays him? Uh, it's a. Uh, I see his face. Can't right. think of his name. He was the dad in uh, October Sky. Fuck it. Oh wow, <laughs> that's I for, a pull. I, I, for, I, don't know. I forget who uh, who all was in that movie. I Jane saw Jane it, Hall. but. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but uh, 
Anyway. What, about, what about Electro Unchained? <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I will say, they took a lot of you know uh, liberties mm-hmm. with that, and they kind of had to. Yeah, a green dude with a flower on his face is not that fucking scary. <laughs> no, yeah, <It's> not. <laughs> but Sk- Electric Skrillex, <laughs> <laughs> the king of dubstep, isn't that great as well. Now, here's my thing. I do like his abilities though. The ability to travel cool. anywhere. They made him meek. Mm-hmm. And weak, mm-hmm. and he was a fan of Spider Man. Yeah, and he gets that, that was a little weird. I like that though because that goes back to like almost a Batman villain, or or like, hey man, he was just like Peter Parker. You know, he was what Peter Parker would have been if he hadn't got cancer. Cancer yeah. Spider. <laughs> uh, he would have been a meek dude, a meek scientist getting pushed around in mm-hmm. big corporate America. That was what Peter Parker was going to be. Yeah, and that's why Andrew Garfield's so nice to him. Mm-hmm. And he's that you know he's never been that people have never been that nice to him before. Yeah, and then he gets pushed into a goddamn bantha tank and full Man, of eels. <laughs> in that scene, has to be probably the hardest I have ever laughed in any Spider-Man film. Do you oh, know what part I'm talking about? When he falls in with the eels. Yes. Yeah. What, but do you what specific part in no, that? No. Motherfucker. When they play Skrillex. No. Dead mouse. When. I forget what when happens. he's getting bitten and shocked and all that, he's writhing and thrashing yeah. around in the tank. There, and it's like they they zoom in on his face, screaming in agony, and the gap between his teeth closes up. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking eels fixed his teeth. You know what would be cool though? You know what, be- what the. You want to be cool? Michael Strahan's walk. If that didn't happen, yeah. No, no. What would be cool is you know his teeth straightened, but where his canines are, mm. he develops like like a thin razor teeth. Yeah. Where the canine should be like an eel. Yeah. No. Instead, he just got perfect. Instead of making his skin glow like an LED screen, <laughs> make it look like he's been electrified. Yeah. Like literally, like darkened. With like lightning streaks in it, yeah. His suit could be made of like a dark eel skin. Mm-hmm. He could still travel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe worship Satan too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe no, worship there, Satan. there's a bunch they could have done with that. But yeah, even like even though his powers and stuff were cool, it got a little bit overboard when like every attack he did was like a different synth sound yeah. and it sounded like they was like trying to play a song by attacking well, they him. They did what he's on the staircase. Yeah. It's the Spider-Man theme song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, that, and that's why I was just like, ah. Yeah, there was I, a lot. I didn't mind that. I think it was a good, like, nod. Mm-hmm. But I think it would have been cooler if he did it at, like, a, like, let's say in downtown New York, they were having, like, a thing. Mm-hmm. Like a music festival or something yeah. for Spider-Man. Yeah. For, for, for some fucking reason. Mm-hmm. You know, because they just jerk him off whenever they want to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they hate him when they want to, jerk him off other yeah. times. But, yeah. like, and it would be, uh, what's his, uh, what are those uh, guys? Uh Daft Punk was playing or some shit. One's wearing an Iron Man fucking helmet, just as like a like a like a, like a little knock. You can't yet, <laughs> but like but back then, like just like like a knock, like yeah. a friendly, like like ha. Huh, see, <laughs> see, we're all good. It's all good. Mm. We don't need your ass. <laughs> but like, and then he starts fucking with it. You know, he yeah. uses the sound a little bit to fuck with Spider Man's spider sense. Yeah, that like, would have been cool. He cranks the speakers all the way up just to fuck with his main. Yeah, I think that was a Digimon villain at one point. <laughs> Digimon had a lot of shit. They did. They had an angel for fuck's sake. And then the <laughs> annoying B plot the entire time was uh, Gwen running off to go to college, and her and Peter kind of second uh, doctorate. Yeah, and then, and then <laughs> her and Peter America. half at breaking up, old. half staying together, all this other bullshit, and then you know what I hate watching in, the- in theaters. Peter Parker's romances. Yeah. <laughs> None of them are fun to watch. Let's just not do that. With I like this how next I got m- with that colored girl and the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Hopefully, if we can. <laughs> uh, but uh, This will be our longest episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and then, yeah, the, the stupid fucking scene at the end with the new goblin and fucking... Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, my... F- he looked like he was on meth. Yeah, that, that has to be one of the worst villains in a movie period I've seen. I will say, at least he's not on a surfboard. At least he wasn't on a surfboard. And didn't get dinged in the face at doing 120 down an Looks like he did. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he did. There's so many moments. It'd be funny if he did and be like, I survived. <laughs> <laughs> With the powers of hell. I summon you when he summons Electro. Yes. Right. <laughs> and... And then it just ends with fucking Peter acting like a fucking emo sad sack again. Because again, in the first movie, we had him crying the entire time. And now he's acting like an emo sad sack because Gwen's dead. Now, yes, 
This one is a lot more understandable. But we don't have to see it. <laughs> I would have loved a ghost Dennis Leary being like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> he, he did a couple times throughout the film. He kept looking down and being like, dude. <laughs> or like and that still wasn't enough. A ghost Uncle Ben being like, dude, you're doing a terrible fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> you need to straighten the fuck up. <laughs> Remember that part about the responsibility? Yeah. <laughs> now he just dis- I don't happened. like how he just disappeared for like all the months. Mm-hmm. Like he just dips out yeah. for good. Yeah. And like everybody's like, where's the Spider-Man? I don't know. Maybe because the cops need to, I don't know, get better fucking weapons <laughs> to fight the rhino. Like these, dude, a living god appeared in front of you made of electricity. You need new weapons. Yeah. A Glock 32 ain't going to do it for you, buddy. And a teenager with a cancerous spider yeah. bite ain't going to do it either. But like, you're assuming he's dead. Yeah. All right, the good guy's dead. Those other beings could exist. Mm-hmm. So what are we going to do? Well, if we got a guy made of water, we we got a gun that shoots ice. I don't fucking know. But, <laughs> Let's wake Godzilla up. I don't fucking but, know. Yeah. But you know, there's somewhat something there. Yeah. So, like when the rhino shows up, maybe an APC rolls up with a fucking electric cannon to yeah. give him the shivers or some shit, <laughs> or to shock the fuck out of, or blow his goddamn brains out because his face is like open. Yeah. Someone shoot him in the eye. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Fuck. It's, the, it's the old it's the old Ron White thing. Shoot him in the head. I can see his head. Yeah, it's, like it's like Batman. You can see his mouth. Shoot him in the mouth. Shoot him in the mouth before he comes out of the darkness and murders you. And so I, I forget exactly who gave Peter the pep talk. To, it, was a, it was like a kid standing up to oh, the Yeah, the yeah, that's what it was. It was little Miles Morales. Okay, yeah. There's so, so many moments uh, in this movie that just took me out of it. <laughs> so, so when you asked earlier, Cap, if they ever kind of cycle back to the parents thing, they kind of do. But. And this and this is why I get in like uh, I I'm so glad, so glad for the new Tom Holland movies. There is a deleted scene and you can find it on YouTube. The official Sony YouTube has uploaded it, so they've approved this upload. Deleted scene. You remember you were talking about that fucking montage scene of Peter just sitting here at the fucking grave site for seasons and seasons yeah. doing that stuff? Check this out. On the very last one, he's sitting here looking at the grave, and guess who comes strolling up behind him? His parents. His fucking dad. Awesome. And All right. And kind of gives them the quick little I'm your dad shit's going down talk and like and kind of just leaves it at that and I'm just like you've got to be fucking kidding me so I was like no like su- surprise I'm your dad bet yeah. you weren't ready for that yeah kind <laughs> of it, it's just like you know Peter he's like how do you know my name he's like oh, I'm your father and it just shares like a fucking crying moment and I forget it's been years since I saw the scene but they share like a little moment he gives them some sort of you know oh Susie's trapped in the well bullshit we gotta go save her kind of crap and then the scene ends you know, you know what I would I would have rewrote that to like been like hey Peter I'm your dad and him going like and his shoulder just turns to powder <laughs> and like he just knocks him in the shoulder and while he's on the ground you were obsessed with the fact that Peter can do that <laughs> it's it's <laughs> it's, it is, it's not Batman. It is at, at peak Batman could kick your ass. It is implied that Peter can do this. It's implied that he could crush your skull like a fucking walnut with a car. Okay, but like, but his dad shows up. He fucking lazy Susan's that motherfucker in the elbow. His arm is like a fucking spaghetti noodle. And like, he's like, oh yeah, you're my dad, huh? <laughs> did Fuck you know? You. Did you know I kind of became a demigod the because whole, of you? Because of you, you piece of shit. <laughs> and then it's like his dad's like just screaming, like, "You're a goddamn thief." <laughs> 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 Why do you think I had to come out of fucking hiding? And then he like pops him in the shoulder. He pops him in the shoulder and just fucks it up some more. <laughs> and he's like, where the fuck were you? He's like, I'm glad I lived, you little piece of shit. <laughs> fuck you, old man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I would have loved that movie. <laughs> <laughs> just his spaghetti arm dad just like screaming in pain <laughs> pulling a gun like he's gonna shoot him he's like and then he just like kicks him in the hand and breaks his he's head like, oh hell no <laughs> spiders that like, like laces that motherfucker next to a tombstone he's like I'm gonna bury you here you piece of shit <laughs> thought you, you were know, already dead now you, know, you will be it takes three weeks for this shit to dissolve <laughs> I was like I'm gonna leave you here to die <laughs> no one's gonna be able to pull you from that shit <laughs> only I got the special scissors motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> and like no, 
nobody talks about that shit. <laughs> him leaving that shit all over the fucking neighborhood. The webs and shit. Yeah. Imagine like a kid just walking to school and like the night before, two muggers just got strung up from the fucking side, from the bus stop side and some kid touched it and he's like, oh God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't get loose. And like some Roman pedophile or else like, jackpot. <laughs> Where were, Spider-Man? Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Where were you, Spider Man? Where were you, Spider Man? Kim class? Huh, you piece of shit? <laughs> Delivering pizzas like a chode? <laughs> you're literally, Pizza time. you're literally a Spider Man. You can dress like something else and rob a bank, <laughs> and everybody's idea would be like, "Oh man, Spider Man didn't show up to when he robbed that bank." The reason Peter Barker's poor is because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> At any time he could dress like Night Monkey. <laughs> rob a bank and everybody's like, the cops couldn't stop him. Where was Spider-Man? And Spider-Man just showed up uh-huh. like, I'm a regular person who lives in a mansion now. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Well, talking about regular people, let's go ahead and dive into what's going to be a lot more of an enjoyable conversation, at least for me, is going to be the new MCU Tom Holland Spider-Man. I enjoyed the Tom Holland Spider-Man the a lot. The good spider man I, I enjoy that one a lot. And it, you know I, why? Well, because his pr- he knows he could do all these fucked up things. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he realizes the suit can murder people, he's like, no, 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 no. Please don't murder everyone I know. <laughs> With great power does come great like, Let's talk about how stupid Tony Stark is in the beginning. Yeah, because, well, Tony first off. Tony Stark is a fucking idiot throughout the whole franchise. Yeah, <laughs> everything is Tony Stark's fault. Yes, everything. Every he fucking thing. He truly is the GOP of the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> A scapegoat, if you will. Yeah, a scapegoat, if you will. So, uh, before Homecoming, we had a little bit of clip of him in uh, Season, Civil War. Yeah, yeah, he shows up in a Captain America movie. Yeah. Yes, which feels just like another Avenger movie. I love movie. that he showed up in that, yes. just because he's fighting... Was it Ant-Man? He's Fucking fighting, he, Ant- he puts down Ant-Man. Yeah. He goes toe-to-toe with Falcon and Winter Soldier by himself. Yeah. And they are getting mad uh-huh. because they're like, he's kicking our ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, before, and, and, and right before that, Cap puts him in a tight spot. But Cap is like, you from Brooklyn? <laughs> he's like, good job, kid. Yeah. <laughs> and then Spider-Man at no point is going like, you old piece of shit. <laughs> no, they were both just like. And I do love the callback to that yes. in the movies. He's like, stay off drugs, kids. This is Captain America. And Hannibal Burris is his teacher. Yeah, and yes. like, I'm pretty sure that man's a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> now, my today's stand is Captain America is a terrorist because <laughs> of Civil War. Like, yes, and, and yeah. So I, I thought that was a uh, cool scene. We we got the uh, the early proto suit like you like seeing. Uh, we got a little bit of that in there, which we saw also in Homecoming. We got yeah. some of that. In there yeah, too. I like how that uh that origin story of the suit came out, where it's just like Tony Stark saw what uh Peter was rocking and said, "Nah, fuck that." No. Here's well, your shit. He, he showed like a little clip of him like saving that person from a bus, and it's just like, "Hey man, there's some. I want to give you something yeah. that'll help you out just mm-hmm. a little bit more." Yeah. And it's that fabric suit. It's got mm-hmm. that old school feel, like the comic look. Yes. It's very plain Jane, but it's actually loaded with some really fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I love is the call to like, it's a very, like, a homecoming Spider Man. Like, it is a very down to earth Spider Man. Yeah. Here's his, you know, 16 blocks of New York. Yep. Yeah. And his school. Mm-hmm. And Ain't he, much no to it. Much no to it. And they brought it he up with the Captain America part when they talked about it. He goes to a special school with people who are really fucking smart, who yep. aren't stupid. Yep. All right. I don't like the Flash character. No, I don't either. At any point, he could have snapped that motherfucker. <laughs> but, like, he does sew the restraint, unlike Andrew McGuire. Because he does, Andrew McGuire does flail a lot. At yeah. any time, he can backhand a civilian and turn their face to powder. But, but <laughs> Andrew Garfield or Tommy McGuire? Both. <laughs> I was saying you're going because I was trying to figure out. I'm like, which one is he talking about? Andrew McGuire. <laughs> he should, if Spider Man did this to you, <laughs> finger guns. Webs are, webs are coming out and, he, and he's going to like rip your clothes off. <laughs> then, oh. call, then, then it's Tommy McGuire, the sexual assault. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> he took my clothes it hurts so much he's like but i'm saying i'm edgy spider-man no you're creepy spider-man get the fuck away dude no you're now, like nighttime cocaine user spider now as cool as it was that I uh, my <laughs> that tony did kind of just see you know peter in need and it's just like you know yo bro let me help you out a little bit yeah. let me give you a leg up i'm trying to bang that, your uh <laughs> yeah bang as, your fucking as, guardian as, <laughs> as fine as that is it set up a bad precedent for me though really it set up the only negative plot line that I don't like throughout this new era, which is motherfucker 
everything he does is for and because of Tony Stark. That's the entire series, though. It's of every not movie. supposed to be, though. I know, but every movie is about Tony Stark. I don't. It's not supposed to be, though. Spider-Man is his own character. What about Guardians of the Galaxy? It's about Tony Stark. Because it all comes back to Tony fucking Stark. I feel like we could do a whole other podcast Dude, on I, that. It's a, web, it's a web and Tony Stark's at the middle. Yeah. But you I mean, know why? I agree because, with that. because Marvel came back from nothing mm -hmm. with Iron Man. Right. But, but, he, the, but So Marvel came back from nothing with Iron Man, but guess what laid the foundation for that? Spider Man. He can lead on his own. He can, but like, I'm talking about like ownership of property. Yeah. Iron Man did this. The Iron Man movies. I'm not. I'm, I'm not talking. I'm talking about the MCU by itself. I get that, and I get that. But the just MCU because built the he universe did. and they decided to allow Spider Man in it, I don't like the fact they don't have an Uncle Ben. Uh, and, and just but, for clarification, I don't have to have the origin story again. I, you, you don't. I don't have just to like see the, just like uh, the Ben Affleck Batman movies. Mm -hmm. You don't need an origin story. You no. know what's happened. Yeah. However, a I would love a flashback. Would, I would be love nice. a flashback. Even a picture of the motherfucker. Yeah. A or mention, Tony, or like maybe in the next movie, a flashback of Tony being like, "Hey, have you talked to your aunt about your uncle in a while?" Mm -hmm. You know, or like flashback to when Tony first meets Peter Parker, mm -hmm. and it's like, "Hey, I heard about your uncle. I have this foundation," and kind of like, but see, why slyly, does Tony have to say it? Because he's the leader of the Avengers. So fucking what? Well, Cap ain't going to do it. Cap can barely. Why does anyone have to do it? Why? Why does because someone it's have the to MCU. step? Because Happy is. Uncle Ben. And he's been hiding <laughs> no! there this whole time. No, no. Because <laughs> yeah, he's coming into something. Right. Now, if the MCU had just straight up bought Sony's Spider Man, mm -hmm. they would have done that. They would have been like, Tony Stark, and then Peter fucking Parker. And yeah. then they would have went back and bought Mr. Fantastic, you know, mm -hmm. built these pillars that all support the world of the MCU, like they did with Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. But. So, okay, so, but using that logic, though, uh, I almost called him by his actual actor name. I almost said Chris Evans. Um, Captain America, his reason for being in all of his movies isn't for Tony Stark. It's for Captain America. The reason for being for Star-Lord is not Tony Stark. It's to be Star-Lord. But, it, but all, uh, Captain America is there because of Howard it, Stark. But no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying these movies exist. Because they had to make Iron Man the movie, and I'm not and, saying it doesn't. But, but I'm saying that's what they're putting their money on, right? It, there's they they made one pillar and branched off from there. Yeah, they did, and they, they and they have so many successful ones. This yeah, is, this so, is like but, six, seven, eight I years know, after. But they but they still like using that main. They're branch still because selling you, Iron Man back a, to that. But yeah. this is the first time it's they a, did it. It's a source material. They didn't do it with any other character in the MCU, though. Is what I'm saying. Oh. What other MCU character hinges on Tony Stark as much as Peter Parker does? I'm not saying the storyline does. I'm talking about the movies themselves. I'm talking about the storyline. I think that's where <laughs> no. we're coming from the argument here. I'm okay, talking I'll, about storyline. MCU is writing their universe like Stephen fucking King did. Mm -hmm. All right, he started with one character, right? Created a new character, and guess what? These characters all eventually meet each other. Yes, but it hinges on one guy because that one guy has to get them all together. Now, Spider Man is the lone character. You're right. They probably shouldn't have put Tony Stark into it, but they want that Iron Spider. They want to pull, like, you got to remember the actions of the Avengers movies happened. Right. Where was Spider Man? He was a child. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why does the Why does the Vulture do, do? Why is he the villain? He's trying to clean it up. He's trying to clean up a mess. Right. Tony Stark's company comes in, fucks it up. Mm -hmm. So he creates. The vulture costume. And that's another problem. I don't see that as a problem, though. Because, you remember the real story of the vulture? He sucks the life out of people. <laughs> that's the real story and, of the vulture. And and But how do you place that in the MCU as a Oscorp. separation? Oscorp! No, because it doesn't exist. <laughs> well, it doesn't it, exist. Uh, the Tony Stark cleanup if, thing didn't if, exist if, until that movie? But if you did it like that, if no, well, the cleanup crew comes up in after Avengers... Right, but but it didn't get mentioned in Avengers before the Spider-Man film. It would have. It's da it's uh, damage but, control. It's but damage a, control didn't get mentioned. That was the first time damage they, control it was mentioned. It would have eventually because it's a main part of Tony Stark is the goddamn problem. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is Tony Stark's problem. Right, but what, but what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, but what I'm saying is, I'm just enjoying okay, this. <laughs> if you're going to add Spider-Man yeah. without Tony Stark being the goddamn problem, yeah, it would have to be in Phase Five or Four. 
Because now you got to pull from another universe, like where they're going to do Fantastic Four and okay, the X Men. Okay, so so how, how how did they introduce Ant Man and it be Tony Stark's fault? Howard Stark. Yeah. No, Tony Stark. I'm asking about Tony Stark. Oh, Tony Stark wants that. Uh, it has uh, all the Avengers at one spot, and he has all of Hank Pym's original technology in the new Avengers camp. Right, but what I'm saying is, you look at the movie of Ant Man. Yeah. How is Tony Stark directly connected to the storyline of? The Pym family becoming what they are it's now. The Pym family attached to Stark family. Okay, and that can be the closest relationship to the Captain America one. But but that's whole story arc and yeah. Captain America's whole thing. He doesn't always report back to Tony. Hey, how Tony? No, he How's it to. going? This that and the other. He doesn't have to. Peter doesn't have to either. Is my he point. does though because he has a suit from Tony Stark it, that he shouldn't have gotten. That's, but, that's my but, point, is Tony Stark is babying this motherfucker, well, and, if, and Peter is a big enough that's, man that's to stand on his that's, own. That's the problem. He he When he does stand on his own, he fucks up. Every hero does. Yeah. Well, since there is but, no Uncle Ben in these but because, movies. But because Tony gave him, like, Tony sees a child. He doesn't see Captain America, who's 105 years old. He doesn't see Ant-Man, who's an agile criminal. Mm-hmm. He doesn't see Thor, who is a god of thunder, mm-hmm. or... Black Widow, who is a super agent, Nick Fury, who leads super agents, or the organization of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Wanda, who's a witch, you know, uh, Hawkeye, who can handle himself just mm-hmm. with a stick. Basically, yeah. just demigods. All these people are highly trained, highly organized, some without powers. Now, that is a child. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Tony without, Stark, a far, without a father figure, really, with Uncle Ben even, gone. Even without that, he's a child who who's only protected that small amount of space, right? Yeah. Now, aliens have come, destroyed everything. You got to remember, Tony Stark's got to worry about, like, the whole place now. But he's going to need more people. Mm -hmm. Why not bring in that Spider-Man? But he gave him that suit as a protection measure so he could go after Captain America. Mm -hmm. Now, at some point, he's going to have to take that suit back. But how is he going to get that suit back from a kid who who now needs it to protect his little section of the world? Kind of like with Hank Pym's and the Pym particle. Mm-hmm. You know, you ha- who are you to take it away? Mm-hmm. You know, but that okay. I'll flip it around. Peter is the one that should be. Peter as a character should have not accepted it. I understand where you're coming from from oh, Tony's no, no, no. standpoint. The history of Peter Parker is always big for money. I, I, <laughs> He's a broke we're kid. Fight. <laughs> He's a I, broke did, kid. I, I strongly disagree. He's a broke kid. <laughs> he, but he, that is not in his character to accept that sort of well, stuff. And you got to remember, you got to remember how they write these movies and stuff. It's in phases. Right. He's got to have that suit to make the other phases work. You know, he's got the cloth suit with the, you know, the uh, the kill mode, blah blah blah. Okay. That was a mode added in there. Mm-hmm. But it is not a battle rattle right. suit with four arms my, sticking out the back murdering people. But again, if if Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield made their suits, why can't this kid make a suit? They're, he they're, did. He made the Scarlet suit. Right. But what I'm saying is why can't they he just make didn't the show, other? They just didn't show him making other suits. I know that. I'm saying why couldn't... Well, actually, technically he did with the fucking Tony Stark tech, another hand-me-down yeah. on the second movie. Yeah. But, but if those other two made suits, why does this motherfucker have to have a suit handed to him, a position handed to him, all this other shit handed to him? Peter hasn't worked for shit in these movies. Uh, you're assuming he didn't. From everything we've seen, we yeah. only have what we've seen. Yeah. Which is exactly what the point of the conversation is. What I'm saying is... Why? Why is that a bad thing? Because it does not foster his growth and responsibility. Who is he for this? Street thugs. Street thugs. What does he need? You know, he doesn't need much else. But now he's got to go up against Ant Man, the Hulk, right? Well, I mean, Andrew Garfield's one technically didn't need more, but he had a f- that, final that's a Sony spot. issue on that. I mean, and these, and by the time um, uh, they. Um, Tobey Maguire, uh, Spider-Man, got his ass kicked uh, in the wrestling ring and uh, killed yeah. that one dude. He went ahead and made a new suit, too. Yeah. And that was before he wound up running into that, anything big. That, like I said, but that goes back to my want for them to have the regular Scarlet suit yeah. to begin with. <clears throat> and get and then they fight the villain. Well, that life. was an alternate universe costume well, well, anyway. That was never saying, part of the main that's, canon. That's why, I, that's why I don't like the other two Spider-Man movies. The other, <laughs> other, other Spider-Man movies. This one is, all right, we have Spider-Man. We're going to skip his fucking high school years. Yeah. Guess what? He's fighting people from outer goddamn space. Yeah, he's, he's already 100% all right, Spider-Man. we need him to grow up now, okay? Because <laughs> in, in this universe, in this universe, okay, it is bad. Yeah. 
All right, this ain't the Tobey Maguire. The world Maguire. is fucked. Like in, uh, Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Tom Holland's universe. In Tobey and Tobey Maguire's, you can imply the X Men exist. Yeah. Andrew Garfield, you could say the Fantastic Four exists because it's mm-hmm. Sony. Yeah. And this one, gods and creatures from outer space are mm-hmm. trying to annihilate each other on your turf. You need something. Yeah. So, yeah, accept it. I can see why he accepted the first suit mm-hmm. because aliens came down from the sky and probably killed his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing is, it's like the, the hero I, I worship. I agree. I don't like it. Yeah. But and the, and that's the arc they're going with. And and just because they're going with it doesn't mean I have to like it or I'm agree with it. I'm just explaining why that's why they Oh, have I know to, why it's going. I know why they're why doing it. Has it. To be. I know why they're doing it. I don't like off, it. Which is great. Yeah, and well, yeah, but now we have to deal with another movie of the second one of him sitting here going, Oh, I just want to be the next well I don't think the next one will be like that. I I hope I think not. they did that with I think they did good with the second one. Well, even that one. Okay, well, fine. We'll we'll just talk about both at the same time since we're going all scatterbrain with all this now. <laughs> uh, well, the second one, though, no. I, I feel like they still did not understand that part of Peter Parker because at the very end, uh, when he's about to make his new suit after Happy picks him up, What's he do? Walks right over to that fucking Stark tech and starts beeping away at it. Well, and the, even Happy gives him a little look like, oh, look at Iron Man Jr. over there. Yeah, and the, fucking uh, puts on back in black. Oh, I love Led Zeppelin. It's no, like, that's, that's, he's working with what he had. If he wanted to be the Tony Stark, you know, sub, sub, he would have took the Iron Spider suit. He did. He did take the Iron Spider suit to Europe. He left it at home, remember? But he, he accepted it. He, he took accepted it. And he leaves it on the sidelines. Just in case. Well, he wanted to just not be Spider-Man on a vacation. Yeah, but he's cheap. But Aunt May packed the other suit. Yeah. No, like, he was planning on leaving all the suits. But yeah, he was he was planning on it. So that's that's the decision right there. That pulls away from the. Oh, I don't need Tony Stark. I just want to be a regular guy. I think that was more or less. I don't want to be Spider-Man. I want to be I, a regular guy. He just and I, to, I don't want I, Tony. His just, whole thing was want, wanted to take the responsibility off for a little bit. Wasn't yeah. It? I just see after like after. You know everything that happened in Endgame mm-hmm. and all that. I mm-hmm. think he still wants to stick to his little, his little part of New York. Yeah, you know the same reason he went after Vulture. Mm-hmm. Vulture was attacking New York or stealing shit from New York. That would have made him more powerful. Yeah, but you know that's that's another that's another pull to the original movies. But in this movie, it's still technically Tony Stark's fault because Jake Gyllenhaal mm-hmm. because it's a slight. Yeah. Like from Tony Stark, yeah, but, and, so, and that's even more of an annoyance. It's like it's right I, back I, to that I, motherfucker. I don't see annoyance. <laughs> well, how do we feel about the? I like the movies. I like the. Oh, I, I love both of the movies. This is that's one unfortunate Those thread the in there. That, well, yeah, it's just one unfortunate thread throughout both of them. That is just like it's not needed for me. It's like I, I understand why they're. I don't want to see another Spider-Man movie if they're going to put him in high school. They better like so if they make po- another Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. Let's say let's say the Tom Holland thing doesn't work out. Yeah, and Sony decides to put out another batch. Don't put him in fucking college. Mm-hmm. Make him an adult. Yeah, make him a grown ass man who has fought the pantheon mm-hmm. of thugs, yep. kingpins, yep. monsters, uh, tech geniuses. Mm-hmm. They'll do a Miles Morales and movie do before the they Sinister do that. Six movie and three movies. Yeah. Do that. That's what Take they were going to. You know, bring back. Wasn't that what they were teasing in so the uh, Andrew Garfield movies, The Sinister Six? There was a there was like a after credit scene where yeah. there was like tentacles and like vulture wings, and I think gauntlets for the Shocker. Yeah, they it showed was like stupid. five or six. They were showing they were showing it like oh more, no, we made these things. It was low, like, more things of everything has to fucking cor- come from Oscorp. Just low yeah. hanging that's why, fruit that's and shit like, I don't that. like the other two movies, mm. the other other two sets. Yeah, Oscorp, Oscorp, yeah. Oscorp. You know, there's so much Sony could have pulled from the Spider-Man universe. The contract negotiations be damned. They could have pulled AIM. AIM is not fucking Disney. Square it's Marvel, Enix, though. But Square Enix proved that shit with the newest movie, with the newest game. That's why it tanked so bad. AIM is the villain in the new Avengers game. Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to figure out. I was like, Square Enix. Disney, I, was, I, was trying to, I was just Disney, trying to remember Disney the new. Disney doesn't own that. Disney doesn't own that. Marvel didn't own that. They mm-hmm. sold that when they sold Fantastic Four. Because mm-hmm. AIM is a Fantastic Four villain. Mm-hmm. But it's also a New York villain. Mm-hmm. You know, That would have been great if, like, let's say the Tobey Maguire movies. The first thing is, oh, AIM is working on some weird spider thing. Yeah. And it's at, like, a hospital. 
and he gets bit at a hospital and not a billion dollars <laughs> because he's taking voyeuristic photos of his neighbor <laughs> like an asshole. <laughs> But, uh, I, I like they don't explain how he got his powers in this one. Mm-hmm. You know, it's always just, you know, simplified. All right, he got bit by something. He became this. We, it's not like Thor. It's like, a, oh, America. a Spider-Man exists in this universe? Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Disney wants to like, cut away from the whole, chemicals make you better. <laughs> <laughs> you <know>? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Captain America is nothing but, but like, Hulk steroids. <laughs> Essentially. You can, you can, like, curl a fucking helicopter. Uh-huh. How about <laughs> fucking, which, which I know uh, Chris Evans is like, I want to curl a I know. Right. <laughs> How about fucking uh, Michael Keaton as Vulture, though? God, that is terrifying. Right, mm-hmm. uh, he, 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 I like how he didn't need a suit to be terrifying. No, he, just by himself, uh, just as the character and I like, was pretty. And I like uh, the fact that he's not the vulture from like the animated series, yeah, which sucks your soul out, <laughs> and he yeah. feeds on your youth like which an is, asshole. Which, well, that's technically asshole. what Carnage did too, but all yeah. that had to do with just the um, comics code and what they could actually show on TV, and that's it, why everyone had fucking laser guns instead of actual guns. Right, it wasn't <laughs> like and the Ninja Turtles number two don't use weapons. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They don't. Weird ass mouth. fucking. You can see their mouths. <laughs> like it's fucking Dr. Zayas from Planet of the Apes. I uh, know. That freaked me out when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's, it's. You know, they all pull like some good material. Mm-hmm. It's like. But Michael Keaton as the vulture. Oh, like, yeah. They're talking about the whole Spider Verse thing with Dr. Strange and mm-hmm. all this. And they want to pull back McGuire and. Garfield and mm-hmm. Holland. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Because I would love to see Tom Hardy just show up <laughs> and just start fuck it. beating the fuck out of like Andrew Garfield. Yeah. I keep Barehanded. For- <laughs> I keep forgetting that they are, you know, about to make a second Venom movie. Like the first yeah. one that came out was. Did you watch it? No, but apparently it did well enough to merit a sequel. It, it's all right. It's weird. Tom, Tom Hardy's a weird dude. Yeah. They made him kind of goofy, which I, Tom I Hardy doesn't come it. off. Come, <laughs> Tom Hardy doesn't come off as goofy. Tom Hardy comes off as, oh, shit, that guy's dangerous. I think he might be on cocaine. That's, like, <laughs> that's the fun th- thing about this time period is that we, people uh, keep forgetting that, that there are, like, there are B movies are surrounding you know the A movies that are the Tom Holland yeah. movies because we have Enter the Spider-Verse, too. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that one a lot more than uh, a lot of the... That was like the, pro- uh, the Prowler. No, you see the Prowler and stuff in that one. Yeah, I think, cool. uh, I think I like that movie a lot better than I liked uh, Homecoming. <laughs> I liked, uh, what was it, uh, Far From Home more mm-hmm. than I liked Homecoming. Yeah, same here. I think I did too. Uh, I do like with- the fact that at some point, Tony Stark, either drunk or high, thought mm-hmm. it was a good idea to give an entire satellite defense system to Peter. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> Edith? Yeah. In death, I'm always, uh, even dead, I'm the hero, yeah. which I thought was clever. That's clever. That's clever. <laughs> But what the? Fuck? Where, where was Rhodey? Yeah, where the fuck was Rhodey? I don't like that. Mm-hmm. That would be cool if Rhodey showed up though, and helped him with Mysterio. Yeah, and just because yeah, like, Peter can't fight by himself, but like just showed up, <laughs> just showed up during that cool bridge scene mm-hmm. where they're all just shooting at him and stuff. And here yeah. comes Rhodey, just just knocking shit out. Yeah, I do like J.K. Simmons coming back. Yeah, yeah, that was the that one was thing that got everybody all fired up. I did like the end credit scene though for Homecoming. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Click. <laughs> oh, no, no, for Homecoming, not Far yeah. From Home. That that was Homecoming. Was the what the fuck from uh, MJ uh, from uh? Oh, Bombay. I was talking about the end credit scene where Michael Keaton's in jail talking to this. Oh, that was post credits. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 the very very end. Yeah, he's where he's talking to the uh, uh, the guy that he used to work for. Like he's there's Matt the, Gargan. Yeah, Matt Gargan, the Scorpion. Yeah, Scorpion. He's got the Scorpion tattoo. Yeah, because Gargan knows he knows who the Spider Man is, mm-hmm. and Bokeem Woodbine does too. The guy that played Shocker. Which I love they changed Shocker halfway through. Yeah. I thought that was badass. That was really cool. He had the cool look, the whole like padded, yellow. That's right. That was badass. Mm-hmm. I, I love that character so much. So much better than Electra. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, I don't turn it into a neon. Yeah, <laughs> man. But yeah, with uh, J.K. Simmons uh, being at the end, that kind of like sparks the, or gives more heat to the rumors about there being a Spider-Verse movie anyway, yeah. too, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did we talk he's... about uh, our thoughts on it on the show? What? We Spider-verse. talked about that one before. No. That's probably Johnny was here for that, wasn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, uh, I'm a- I do like J.K. I would love to see J.K. Simmons from Tommy McGuire. Mm-hmm. And then them having to deal with J.K. Simmons from the Tom Holland. <laughs> because it goes from asshole who owns newspaper mm-hmm. to Alex Jones. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a hilarious scene, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's just like uh, all these like... Uh, <laughs> 
I'm just picturing like all the, uh, the Toby Maguire, two Toby Maguires talking to each other, two Tom Hollands, and uh, they're all doing like the, sp- the Spider Man pointing meme and shit yeah. like that. <laughs> all six of them just. <laughs> 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 no, I'm excited. I'm glad Toby Maguire's coming back. I'm yeah. glad RJ Garfield's coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're at all some, rumors. At some but... point, I would love for them just to talk sh- cash shit to each other. Yeah. They're like, oh, it comes out of your fucking hands. I'm like, no, that's right. gross, bro. Oh, what did you do? Oh, I stole it, motherfucker. <laughs> stole this shit. Oh, did you kill Harry Osborn? Thanks. <laughs> no. Who the fuck's Osborn? Yeah. <laughs> you mean the guys that own the Oscorp building downtown? <laughs> nah, I don't know that motherfucker. Nah, I got this from Tony Stark. Who? <laughs> Who the fuck is Tony Stark? You My d- dad, I mean, someone I knew. <laughs> My dad, dad. He's dead now. You dated Gwen Stacy? I accidentally killed that, him. That uppity bitch, bitch. from high school? <laughs> <laughs> Well, like it's like a, what's what happened to her? Was it, it was MJ? Like, you mean Michelle? Yeah, Michelle. Yeah, I, like uh, I do like the fact that she found out mm-hmm. very early on. Yeah, that was cool. I like I like that very quick, and I do like the fact that Nick Fury. You could argue is a more father figure than Tony Stark to begin with. Oh yeah, because he's just like. I have to trunk your goddamn friend. <laughs> <laughs> Even though technically that wasn't Tony Stark, which was the weird thing. Yeah, but I'm saying like he's he's a new he's a new father. He has to look after him. Yeah, because he's an alien. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's another little kick in the nuts. <laughs> How long have they been aliens? As again, we we have to have babysitters for Peter Parker. He can't be by himself. <laughs> not, right not right now. Not not, not in this universe. No, nope, no. Nope. He can't. He can't. No. Nope. You throw a kid like that into a Spider Boy. Yeah, Spider Boy. Spider Boy. You gotta have Spider Boy. What happens to Spider Boy when he gets off? Oh, he sits in the closet and cries because he has PTSD. All no, right. that was the Garfield one. <laughs> no, he was just sad because he accidentally murdered his girlfriend. He'll find he'll find love again. He'll find he'll be fine. Andrew Garfield Spider Man gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. He's, He's gonna got do that Spider Man game. You know. He gonna change the game. <laughs> he gonna change the game. He gonna change the game. Tom Holland Spider Man. He lost gonna Tony. Be, That's going to be it, too it's much. It's going to be like, all my people I know die. <laughs> he's going to be a very broken emo kid. Yeah, he's going to be broken. All my man. Tony Starks die. Yeah. No, he's going to be writing some really like fucked up Tom Waits albums or some yeah. shit. <laughs> Listen to the fucking cure while he's saving people. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. He's actually listening to Depeche Mode, which has a song called The Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> he goes to save somebody. He stops. He's like, Thanks, Spider-Man. You're the greatest... Yeah, okay. He's in the, he's I in the, gotta go because everyone fucking hates me. Because every time he flies, you see a giant billboard of "fuck Spider Man." He's in the black. He's in the black spider suit. It's like, oh, I saw the ooze come from the sky. Is that what what's covering you? And he's like, no, I painted this. I'm expressing my emotions. <laughs> I'm expressing my inner self. He's just covered in flex seal. Sp- <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. Trying to do like some bad new wave voice. I think it would be cool is if he just quit. Mm-hmm. And like in the next movie, he just stop. Yeah. Like Spider Man 2. Yeah. Like, and then I would love to see Doc Ock in the next one. Because mm-hmm. that's a good character to have. Get yeah. Alfred Molina back. Yeah. Fuck okay, it. Why not? <laughs> oh, no, you're running out of action. You can only pull from Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings for so long. Yeah, <laughs> really. The A-listers have all been used what up. What do you do, Orlando Bloom? <laughs> oh, Orlando Bloom could be a good chameleon. Mm-hmm. That'd be badass. Well, I already I saw see, chameleon I in can the see new that. ones. Yeah, uh, Dimitri. Yeah, which is the uh, the school bus driver with the big ass beard. <laughs> yeah. We also got what's his name? Uh, oh, what is that black guy's name in the new one? Mm, talking about the kid, one of the younger know, kids, the te- or the, te- the... Uh, the teacher. Oh, uh, fuck. What is his name? He's a comedian. Oh. I'd love to see him as something. Probably like Prowler, but, just a, <laughs> but like as a joke. <laughs> like he gets all serious at night. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I forget who plays the teacher. Oh, God. It's fucking hilarious. Hannibal so I, Bur- say- I just like the fact that Hannibal Burris is in it. Yeah. I do like how they have like a uh, kind of like a push approach to it. Mm-hmm. Like they don't want too much to do too much with it. Yeah. Like they didn't pack a thousand goddamn villains. Yeah. In it, you know? <laughs> like they do with the Avengers and. The Guardians movies, you know. Yeah. The whole Guardians movies, they're they are fighting a goddamn god. But mm-hmm. pretty much in the second one, they are. Yeah, they're yeah. fighting a planet. <laughs> yeah. Who's your daddy? Which, I will say, when we talk about the next phase. It's a little weird. Bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that whole thing's a little weird. I rewatched that not uh, too long ago. Russell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Well, is there anything else we want to cover on the Spider-Man films we talked about tonight? Fable. I'm just saying, like, if he was to snatch a thug up <laughs> <laughs> at, like, I don't know, 50 miles an hour and like zip him up wouldn't snap his neck let's say okay it won't, <laughs> it won't snap his neck but he'll give him whiplash so <laughs> so he's gonna have he's gonna have black eyes for a little while yeah and then let's say he hangs them up mm-hmm. 
from a New York sign <laughs> with a sign saying, hey, this guy, this asshole robbed an old lady. Yeah. That's not evidence. <laughs> a sign on you from some asshole tied you up. I can tie you up right now and write rapist and throw you in front of the sheriff's office. You know what they're going to do? They're going to untie you and ask you, what man assaulted you? <laughs> All right. That, that's, that's, His name is Morsifer Jones. Yeah. He lives in, in Norway, New Jersey. <laughs> he sa- kept saying he was Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but like how stupid is that? Like how fucking it is it goes back to like the Batman shit mm-hmm. but I'm going to wrap you in this shit that is not going to be able to cut like because <laughs> I have the special scissors yeah I have the special goddamn scissors because I made it because I'm Andrew Garfield I'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> I keeps it real at least, to, at least, at least Tobey Maguire stuff kind of like evaporates after because yeah. you see it like go and then it's like you never see it again yeah and like it's good enough for like the quick minute yeah and like that's what bothered me about the Andrew Garfield movies because when they're doing the whole like crane scene mm-hmm. and he's got to get from across town, there's large like <laughs> vines <laughs> of this shit hanging and it's like, hey, uh, he's going to climb on the crane to get that shit. <laughs> I'm not. That's, not. that's not a union job, bro. And when, <laughs> you, get paid enough there, for and this. when you get out there, God forbid, you get stuck. <laughs> because now your skin is supporting you if you fall. <laughs> And I don't know about you, but like your skin, I don't think can hold what one twenty, no, one forty, yeah, no, 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 something uh, like it's that. Gonna rip the fuck off while you fall to the ground yep. and go. <laughs> and everybody gets one with Spider Man. Yep, <laughs> only That's one. Learned. Everybody gets one, and I'm pretty sure half those guys only get the one. <laughs> but like, he doesn't clean up after himself. He's actually the worst Marvel character. <laughs> he's poor. No, he's he, messy. He's, he's a teenager yeah. or early twenties. Yeah. You know, a shithead. Or he's thirty and has a car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't, do we really want a mature Spider-Man? I do. <laughs> I want him to have a job. Like, yeah. I want to have responsibilities. Where he's like Superman like fucking mature. The Daily Bugle. Like Aunt May's moved away. Yeah. You know? He's married to MJ, maybe. They have like a little kid or something. Yeah. And he's able to figure out how to work the two around. And she's able to understand it without being cursed and dunce, <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> Tony Stark left him his... Uh, I say, he his, saved her. She was still a cunt. Yeah. Like, he did that fucking... 970 spin out of a cafe <laughs> because someone threw a civic at him and like at and she told what, him what, the third by the third movie she's kind of a bitch well yeah, she, he's kind of being a dick <laughs> he's kind of being a dick but he's also a god among men like <laughs> i think she told him how, how do you I, how, imagine the man, mental mentality of that like she must Captain have told america him, can handle it because he's a thousand years old mj must have told toby <laughs> toby like at least 200 times before uh yeah. n- or should or told him no 200 times before the yeah. third movie <laughs> well yeah. she asked him on the first one yeah and he said no but like, mm, how do you walk true. around as Peter Parker after all this? Yeah. Oh yeah, I killed a billionaire who was in a metal suit who tried to decapitate me. <laughs> His son was my best friend. I th- he followed me down an alley and he hit a pole doing 120. I'm pretty sure his brain is mush. <laughs> he may be retarded now because he's seeing people. Uh, I was working with this doctor who had. Mechanical arms. He's dead. <laughs> dead uh, one girl that died. I'm pretty sure I could lift a, a building if I really wanted to. <laughs> or fight an Avenger. Yeah. Maybe three. I have no parents. My uncle is dead. All I have is my aunt. Sally Field is a bitch. <laughs> Martin Sheen is dead. <laughs> I killed my first girlfriend. I'm pretty sure I'd probably kill the next one. <laughs> God knows what, what happens in the bedroom. <laughs> Just, God. Like, just hits that box one too many times and just is gone. Unfor- unfortunately, they actually did not, do a story no. on that I one. I love that. It's fucking hilarious. No, this it's not, dark this as is, fuck. No, this is what happens with Peter Parker. They do the fuck. It's the uh, the Spider Verse narrative where he's a fucking just full blown alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> now, alcohol doesn't even work on him. It kind of like works like the same way as Captain America. He yeah. can't right. get drunk. <laughs> he can't get drunk. He's like, but he still gets the beer belly. So yeah. it's like his spider suit doesn't fit anymo- yeah. <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Webbing starts coming out of his ass. <laughs> He starts like craving human flesh. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck! Then he turns into the animated spider biter man, mm. which would be fucking hilarious. Just eight eyes, yes. fucking fangs, fucking. For some reason, the game it becomes C- Cthulhu. Yeah, it becomes a Cthulhu man. Hey, Cthulhu man. <laughs> and then, then he has to be chased down by Craven. Yeah, played by Nick Offerman. <laughs> oh shit! That dude you does look like weird. a man, motherfucker. Nick Offerman got, versus got that, uh, got that 
power beard. And shit. Mm-hmm. Nick uh, Offerman versus J.K. Simmons <laughs> in snarkiness. Oh, that'd be badass. <laughs> Well, I'd say it's been a pretty fun episode then, guys. We've made up a lot of cool movie ideas. Yeah. <laughs> we some better out than, our grievances. <laughs> some, be- some better than the real movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure three of us together could make a better Spider-Man movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck a studio. <laughs> well, for this episode of Couch Potatoes, I've been Alex. I've been Cap. You can't cut the string. <laughs> All right? You can't cut the webby. Those people will die hanging in the cold. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.